Hello, my name is Ben Porter, and I'm going to briefly walk through the OpenShift load balancer setup. There are two entry points into the OpenShift cluster, depending on the destination. There are two external load balancers. There's an API external load balancer and an ingress or application external load balancer. Those are typically deployed outside of the OpenShift cluster. Now, if you're using IPI, then there is a way to have the OpenShift installer set this up for you. But in a UPI, in standard installation, these will be things provisioned on your own. It's very common for these external load balancers to be either F5 big IPs or a Citrix ADC. It's also really common for them to be HA proxy instances or Nginx as well, particularly if you are an Nginx customer. Behind each of these load balancers are going to be some pods that are running inside of nodes on the OpenShift cluster. Behind the API external load balancer will be the three master nodes, also known as control plane nodes. Each one of these master nodes will be running a pod that handles the Kubernetes API server. Whenever traffic comes in destined for the Kubernetes API, it will go through this external load balancer, which will then round robin between the three healthy instances of the Kubernetes API. If one of them goes down and becomes unhealthy, then it will be automatically removed from the load balancer, and that is implementation dependent. If the traffic is coming from users over the internet, for example, and is destined to some application that you have running on OpenShift, then it is going to come through the internet, sometimes, oftentimes, through some sort of a firewall or something, but it will arrive at the external load balancer for the applications or ingress. Commonly, the star.apps.clusterName.domain will resolve to this load balancer. When traffic comes in to this load balancer, it will round robin between the infrastructure nodes, which are running a pod that has the OpenShift ingress router in it. So this can be a common source of confusion. The ingress router, also known as the built-in router or the default ingress, is going to be made up of router pods. Basically, these are this is an instance of HA proxy that is running inside of a pod on these infrastructure nodes. When traffic comes in from this load balancer and hits this ingress HA proxy router instance, it will then be round robin and distributed to the actual application instance. So uh, I've left out a little bit of detail here intentionally to make this a little simpler to understand. But the application instances here, these are pods running the application. And notice that no matter which router instance gets the request from the load balancer, it will be round-robined and load-balanced appropriately to the application instance.